Horrors and Chess Home Rusiji reacts and this is The Unbelievable Scale of Black Holes Visualized by the channel Real Life Lore Yeah, this is gonna be fun, I love anything space related Black holes are weird and awesome and a lot of other things Let's get down this rabbit hole Yeah <clears throat> First of all, the scales are ridiculously big So visualize is a strong word But I guess we can get uh, some feel of it How uh, you know small and how big a black hole can get so let's watch this one. Remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction Sunday. There's a link in the description. Check out the cast for different playlists like real life flow reaction. I uploaded quite a few reaction videos from this channel already. So if you haven't seen them, check out the playlist. Check out the playlist to like CGP Grey, uh, Inter Destroyed, and all the Sakashi Proxon history. Yeah, let's watch it. Remember, if, you, if this is a real life flow video, so it might get blocked, it might not. If it gets blocked, I would put some kind of a checker box there. So yeah, let's watch it. This episode of Real Life Lore is made possible by Hover. Get your unique domain and email by going to hover.com slash reallifelore and using the code reallifelore for 10% off at checkout. Black holes are one of the most bizarre things that we know of in the universe. Mathematically speaking, any object that has mass can become a black hole. That means that you, me, whatever you're watching this video on, I mean, not just mathematically speaking, theoretically, I think there's precedent for that, right? I mean, naturally, I mean, there's a limit, but you can, in particle accelerant things, you can make anything into a black hole. On right now, and everything else can become a black hole if you crush it all into a small yeah. enough space. This space is called a Schwarzschild radius. If you condense all the matter of any object into its individual Schwarzschild radius, then the object will become so unimaginably dense that nothing can escape its gravitational pull, not even light. If you wanted to transform yourself- See, that's the thing, the densest thing with our laws of physics, densest thing that can be is the neutron star. Black hole is even denser than that, that's why it's this, you know, great suck, sucking hole that we know of, black hole. It goes beyond our knowledge of laws of physics. So basically, uh, it's I think it's a glitch in galaxy, in, in the space-time basically. That's what I think of black hole, those are just small glitches in the space-time continuum. Something gives it so much pressure that, you know, space-time continuum glitches out, there you go, black hole. <laughs> into a black hole, then you would have to find a way to condense all of the matter that makes up your body into an area one sextillion times smaller than a grain of sand. Way too small. But the larger the amount of mass that gets crushed down into a black hole, the stranger the effect can possibly be. Let's take a Boeing 777 jet for instance. If somehow the jet suddenly transformed into a black hole, its entire mass would be compacted into an area with an unimaginably tiny radius of just 3.386 to the power of minus 22 meters. For comparison, the smallest atom is a hydrogen atom, which has a radius of just 10 to the power of minus 11 meters in size. This would be like comparing the size of a human red blood cell to the entire island of Sicily, an incredible difference in scale that's difficult to really wrap your head around. This outrageously tiny black hole would also not last long at all because of the effect of Hawking radiation, yeah, which would completely evaporate away the entire mass of the object in just one second. At this point, something else one second must be less than one second, much less. Else incredibly strange happens. The entire mass of the tiny black hole would be converted into an insanely high amount of energy equal to 5 million megatons of TNT. That is 87,000 times more powerful than the largest nuclear bomb that humanity has ever detonated, and it would be enough to completely obliterate the entire planet. If you wanted to trans- There you go, future of bombs, I guess, right? Create some, you know, portable particle accelerator, launch it at the last second so something becomes a black hole, and it evaporates in a second and then creates a massive explosion. There you go, future of bombs form Mount Everest black into hole a black ball. hole, you would need to crush the entire mountain into a space smaller than a nanometer, which is just one billionth of a meter in length, or the size of ten helium atoms placed side by side of each other. It's completely unthinkable, so perhaps if we transformed a larger object like the Earth into a black hole, then things talking. might be easier to understand. Smaller if marble. we did this, the entire planet, everything that you've ever known, loved, or hated, Every person and everything that has ever existed here to put would have to all be right? crushed into a space the size of just a single US penny. There if you, you replaced the Earth with this penny-sized black hole, nothing would change in our solar system. 
Our moon would continue to orbit the penny-sized black hole mass as if nothing same. had actually happened because the mass would remain equal. If you wanted to transform the sun into a black hole, however, you would have to condense the entire thing into a, a space kilometers. with a radius of just three there kilometers. Such a space would only be the length of about one and a half central parks, but it would contain the mass of the entire sun inside of it. Once a black hole has formed though, it can continue to grow in size by absorbing additional matter like nearby gas and dust from its surroundings, or on occasion, they can even consume entire stars and solar systems. They can even- Yeah, there are super massive black holes like that who people theorize that they consume a lot of stars for, for them to become that big. Consume other smaller black holes to rapidly grow in size and ferocity. Let's take the black hole XTE J1. Yeah, so, you know, I know most people must be thinking, look at that, if it's just like one and a half central parks and that is incredibly small, if something like that exists outside of our solar system, our technology and telescope can't pick it up because it's extremely small, so something like that could exist out there. Uh, no. Naturally, something like that can't exist because that would be the same as, you know, our star, mass of our star, you know, one sun, like say, you know, our sol our, our sun is, is the measure, so one solar mass, right? Our solar mass. That cannot become a black hole because our sun is not, you know, big enough. It doesn't have that much of a mass to become a black hole, to go under, you know, to undergo, I guess, supernova. So something that small of a black hole can't exist naturally because no star the size of our sun would go, you know, explode like that in supernova would become a black hole, you know, so that small of a black hole can't exist in the, you know, universe, basically. Uh, the, you know, I guess the smallest black hole that we know of is 2.2 solar masses of our sun. That's the smallest black hole that we know of, something called the unicorn. That makes sense. But, you know, at our solar masses, uh, you know, uh, the black hole can't exist. 1650-500, for example, which is believed to be the smallest black hole ever yet discovered. It has a radius of just 12 kilometers, which is a little larger than the island of Manhattan, but contains somewhere between the mass of 5 to 10 suns hmm. inside of it. Yeah, this is, this video is from 2017, I guess. So, yeah, this information is old. Uh, current one is the unicorn one with 2.2 solar masses. But at one solar masses cannot because our sun cannot, you know, explode in a supernova and become a black hole. So one solar masses cannot become that small of a black hole. That tiny area, and there are still far larger beasts than even this lurking out in space. Take another black hole named GCIRS 13E. There are a number of questions surrounding this one's potential existence, but if it's real, then its size is roughly the same as the continent of Europe all while containing the mass of 1,300 suns inside of it. But even this is insanely tiny compared to a few yeah. more that are out there, like HLX-1, which is designated as an intermediate-sized black hole. It has a radius of 295,300 kilometers, so it's about as wide as four Jupiters placed side by side, but it contains the mind-boggling mass of 100,000 suns inside of it. Lurking in the center of the Milky Way galaxy, however, is a supermassive class black hole known as Sagittarius A. It has a huge radius of 12,700,000 kilometers, about 5% of the distance between Earth and Venus. But this monster contains the ridiculous mass of 4,300,000 suns inside of that area. As insane as that sounds though, we have yet to arrive at the largest known black hole in the entire universe. The monster with the extremely ominous name of S50014 plus 81. This titan is sometimes classed into an entirely separate class of black holes, the ultra-massive class. Its radius is 1600 times greater than the distance between the Earth and the Sun, and contains the mass of 40 billion suns. That shit is Let's big. Let's not sink in for a moment. Take the Sun, which is already unbelievably huge compared to anything else on a human scale, and then multiply that by 40 billion times and you have the mass of this behemoth black hole. And if you're curious, that's also equal to this many Toyota Corollas, which is a number that is so unfathomably huge that I'm not even going to attempt to say it. Yeah, this wouldn't have been a real-life lore video there was no stats with Toyota Corollas in it. 
you can just look at it and understand it's a lot. I hope this so is this right. this <laughs> video was made possible by Hover. I said last time that I recently purchased two... What was this, 1600 AUs? This, uh, you know, diameter of that? Damn, that is ridiculously big, right? Being a black hole. So, you know, it's just scary, right? I'm just trying to visualize that being a human right there, floating in space, looking at this black hole very close up. Yeah, I would have a heart attack. I think I would have a heart attack before anything else. Any other way, like, you know, uh, before I get sucked into the black hole, I would have a heart attack first. That's just damn scary. Black holes are way scary, right? Even though black holes doesn't suck in anything, if something is going inside the black hole, that's done. Black hole will not go out of its way to, you know, suck anything in. But yeah, still, they are extremely scary. Is there anything else? It's just... Two new domains through them. One for my upcoming podcast series at oh, whataworld.fm. And... Yeah, people, go to hover.com forward slash real life floor and support this channel. <laughs> yeah, this was something, right? The black holes and shit. Yeah, so the smallest black hole is, I think, can be possible. It's the, you know, uh, blurring the line between, uh, you know, uh, basically neutron star and the black hole, which is at the 2.2 mass of the sun. That's the smallest uh, black hole that it can be, and the largest neutron star could be around that size as well. So from there to all the way this, and God knows how big a black hole can be. I don't think there's going to be a cap at how big a black hole can be. I don't think there's going to be a cap. The more you put in things, the more bigger and bigger it's gonna get, I guess. So yeah. Alright people, that was unbelievable scale of black holes visualized by the channel Real Life Lore. If you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out the reaction under this link in the description. Check out the cards for all the plays, check out the end cards, and I'll see you next time.